Our favorite finds this week include Trains Magazine from February and a fascinating video about re-railing a steam engine. This is Railroad Showcase. So what's that saying about best laid plans, or rather, best laid rails? Sometimes it doesn't always go accordingly. How do you re-rail a 200-ton engine? A couple of years ago, the Fort Wayne Railroad Historical Society experienced something no preservation group ever wants to go through. The 765 went on the ground when the inside rail on a curve rolled. I really thought it was interesting how they used the extended reach forklift to pull that back truck over while re-railing. Yeah, you use whatever tools you have at your disposal to get the job done. Yeah. To see the full video, go to the Fort Wayne Railroad Historical Society's YouTube channel. They've got some great videos over there. Uh, check them out. The link is in the show notes below. So the next thing I want to talk about is the February issue of Trains Magazine. As always, Kambach puts out a superb publication, and when I grow up, I want to be just like Jim Wren. This issue has an interesting article on spike technology and a couple of great pieces on the histories of various transcontinental routes. But what I was most excited to see was the cover article by my longtime Facebook friend, Tisha Boggs. She wrote about the construction of the new bridge over the Genesee River in New York State. Her article thoroughly covers the history of the 1875 Iron Bridge, the engineering and the logistical challenges of the new construction. So in researching this article, she said that she made so many trips up to New York that she probably drove over 4,000 miles getting ready to put this article together. That's insane. That's that's it, it's a lot of work, but that's what it, it takes to do really good reporting. And she also said that the thing that impressed her the most was the pride that the Norfolk Southern crews and that the construction crews put into this project. I mean, just to begin with, it was an engineering feat, 
but they had a lot of constraints from the various different stakeholders in the project, and they had a lot of hoops that they had to jump through to get it done, and all of these people were really taking the job seriously and took a lot of pride in getting it done. Well, with a project like this, it's, it's earned. Right, right. So, Trains Magazine February issue, it'll be on your, uh, it'll be on the newsstands somewhere near you. You know, someone asked me if we were trying to be in competition with Trains Magazine. Well, <laughs> you know, there is nobody that's in competition with Kambach or White River. They are the big fish in the pond. But, you know, there's actually, there's actually a different way that I have of, of looking at that. It's, it's all about time and attention. And so we're, we're not in competition with anything that Kambach is doing. We're in, we're in competition with Netflix binge watching. We're in competition with people who want to watch a basketball game or people who want to sit down and play a video game or go read a book. It's just all about what do people want to spend their time doing and, and partaking of. And so it's just up to us to be interesting enough that people want to give a few minutes of their time to us each week. Yeah. Thanks for watching. There's more favorite finds in the full episode. Just go to rrshowcase.com and sign up as a gold or silver spike member. Hit that like, subscribe, comment button. Your feedback really makes a difference to us, letting us know on how we can improve. Remember, you can find us on both YouTube and on Facebook. And always, keep your hand on the throttle and your eye on the rail.